I'm going to start out direct. I do have a little pencil sketch there, but I'm not going to do a wash where I cover the entire page with, let's say, a pink or a blue. I'm going to go right into the background and start putting a little bit of that local color in there. So local color just meaning some of the hues that I see in the objects or what I prefer to be there. So in the background, we have pretty much a gray uh, trees with some homes. Uh, then we have a dock area. The dock itself is mainly brown. You know, the home, there's a little lobster shack there that's mainly red, uh, so a gray roof. And then a sprinkle in a little bit of color there for the boats and then add a little bit of blue to the sky area. I'm going to echo that blue uh, into the water, but I don't want the water to be all the same hue. I'm going to make it a little more green towards the background and then make it a little more blue as it comes to the foreground. At this stage, everything is dry. Uh, this is where most of the work is done. I want to start to add light and shadow. Um, so I'm going to start with the building there, the lobster shack. And then I'm going to use some sort of dark um, neutral greens, gray greens. And I'm going to do a lot of negative space painting in that background. So that initial gray I put down was very light in value. And I did that purposely because I knew I wanted to negative space paint some homes back there. Now I want to add the dark boat and then add the shadows uh, to the boats themselves. Um, this is where the painting is going to start to come alive a little bit. It's going to start to look a little more realistic. So a lot of the initial wash, the first wash that I put down that looks, you know, sort of nondescript, you know, everything is going to start to have a shape and then have form because I'm putting the light and shadow into it. Here I'm using the dark base of the pier to negative space paint around that boat on the bottom left hand side. And that design is intentional. I, I, I didn't just kind of randomly place these boats. I did it place them in a way that I knew these reflections were going to connect things. So I'm using the reflections to connect the boats that are in the foreground and in the middle ground. And you know, had I dropped that boat in the lower left a little bit lower, um, the reflections may not have reached it. And then that boat would look, in my opinion, a little bit isolated. So I like to keep things somewhat connected. Um, every once in a while, I'll isolate something, maybe a figure or something like that. But for this particular design, I wanted everything you know, connected, so one thing touching the next. And you can use shadows, you can use reflections to do that. So you don't always have to use like the positive shape or an object. Um, you can think about using shadows um, and reflections and stuff like that to connect your objects. I did uh, leave you guys or just uh, I have included the inspiration image. Uh, so you can look at the, the arrangement of the boats and the image. And then you can look at what I did with the design. And hopefully you'll see um, a little bit of what I'm talking about there and, and my vision on what I wanted to do with the painting. At this point, just a few highlights here and there. Um, you don't want to do too many of them. It will start to look a little bit phony or amateurish. But just a few pops you know, to add some detail and some interest. Uh, in that light and shadow there, okay? 